So it's a big, big yeah. glaring, obvious contradiction. So what what kind of like obviously you saw it, noticed it, and went off searching for answers, but prior to you doing that, what's kind of been the the way that biblical scholars have reconciled such a big contradiction? Well, biblical scholars actually have had a pretty good answer to it for a while in the gotcha. like published scholarly literature. And ultimately, the explanation that I sort of lay out in this piece is from a biblical scholar named H.A. Blair, who I, I think okay. wrote this piece in the 90s. And the his explanation is very comprehensive and detailed. It, it's in a very simple way, explains kind of all the key facts. But when I wrote this piece, and I wrote it largely kind of to help me unravel the problem as I was explaining it, I realized there were really no good resources at all in like the first several pages of Google results in 2019. And what's weird about this is lots of anti-Christians like Richard Dawkins were using this contradiction. So it's not like atheists weren't noticing the problem. Atheists were noticing and attacking the Bible using this contradiction, 